Joining me now is Adelaide-based comedian Biddy O'Loughlin, who has just had a second comedy show of hers cancelled after the Duke of York Hotel in Adelaide decided to pull the plug on her gig. Biddy, you've said that you are being targeted for your beliefs, in particular relating to gender identity and women's rights. Tell us a bit more about what led to your show being cancelled. Well, I was performing regularly at a comedy gig called The Cranker Comedy, um, which was at a pub called The Crown and Anchor, nicknamed The Cranker. And it was the yeah. only place where I hadn't been censored, so I did, I did pull out my trans gags. And, um, and the staff there are quite woke, and they eventually uh, just complained enough to management that the management asked the guy who ran the fortnightly gig not to have me on anymore. And I, I posted about that and, and then it, you know, blew up and I wasn't able to do my one-woman show at The Cranker for obvious reasons, so I did it at the Duke of York and, um, and then that sold out as a result of the cancellation and then the Duke of York cancelled me as well because they got hounded, apparently, by these trans rights activists. Uh, well, tell me about that because it is typically a very small number of activists but... They can be very impactful mm. because they phone, they email, they put social media posts up, they might even do reviews of uh, function centres, pubs that are critical and the venues, the management can get spooked very easily and uh, submit to this sort of uh, woke idiocy. Has that been your experience, that a small number of people are exercising disproportionate power? Definitely. And they scared the Duke of York, who I feel sorry for because they're a struggling business. Um, you know, everybody's struggling. And they were scared by these activists who said that the Duke might have contravened South Australian law and have threatened the Duke of York with, you know, I don't think legal action, but they said you might have contravened South Australian law, which spooks them enough to cancel my show. And yet we've got the most popular comedians in the world right now, the ones who can't be cancelled because they're too big, they're too popular, the likes of Dave Chappelle, Ricky Gervais, uh, Theo Vaughan, the ones who do the world tours, their content is far more uh, controversial, if you will, than anything you've said. But if you're a smaller comic making your way, uh, th these uh, activists can really frustrate your career. They can end your career, can't they? Absolutely. Like, I can't prove all the things I've lost and all the gigs I haven't got, but I've definitely, um, definitely suffered for speaking up about women's rights. And they do, they, they get the little guys. And your views, I would argue, aren't particularly controversial from what I can work out. So you believe in uh, the fact that women are women and men are men and, and women's rights uh, should not be... Uh, overruled by trans rights. Am I summing up basically what your point of view is and what's really upsetting the activists? Yeah, exactly. I think a woman is an adult human female and that we should have our sex-based rights um, secured in law, basically. And finally, Biddy, what's next for you? Are you, you got another venue in mind? Is there a way you can uh, counter the activists and perform? Yeah, so uh, a venue has reached out to me with all of the um, media, you know, heat and stuff. So they've a venue has reached out to give me a space to perform my show and I'm, I don't need to advertise it because everybody... It was sold out, I just emailed them. So the venue's pretty safe, but they don't mind if I do anyway. But I'm also doing um, a fundraiser show on the night that I was I was supposed to do the Cranker Comedy, and that's at a secret location. So Prohibition is back, and my bootleg jokes might make me some money. <laughs> uh, Biddy O'Loughlin, how bizarre to have uh, comedy shows with secret locations <laughs> to, to hide them from the activist class. What an absurd time bizarre. to be alive. Uh, Thank you so much for your time tonight.